Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am a mother who loves thrifting, DIY, home renovation, and in today's video, I am sharing another home renovation video. My husband David and I bought a 1960s mid-century modern fixer-upper about a year and a half ago now. We have slowly but surely been renovating our home and making it more of our style and something that fits the needs of our family. And so if you like home renovation videos, I will link that playlist for you in the description below. Today we're going to be talking all about our powder bath. And if you have been around for a while, this is the bathroom that is right off of the kitchen and is really the most awkward bathroom that I've ever seen. When we moved into this house, I had two entryways so you could enter through what used to be the dining room or you could enter off of the laundry room. It just made it very strange because you would lock one door but then you'd have to make sure the other door was locked or somebody would walk in on you and for how small the space was it really just didn't make sense to have two doorways. When we bought the house we knew that we wanted to close off one of the doorways and we ended up closing off the one that was the entrance from the dining room. Blows off this wall or this door that goes to a bathroom because we already have a door on the other side and so this is going to be all kitchen yeah let's start from the beginning on this bathroom and let's talk about all that we did i do want to preface this by saying when we moved in we were doing foster care we had three kids living with us and we really just needed a functional bathroom because all of our bathrooms were going to be gutted instead of spending a lot of time initially designing this space i went to like the local menards and home depot and i sourced a lot of things locally this was the height of covid and so a lot of things were out of stock and so it didn't make sense to like wait for a lot of things to come in when we just needed a bathroom so i will say i didn't put a lot of effort into the design of this space we just needed something functional the first thing we did outside of like closing in that doorway from the dining room and just having one door opening into this bathroom was we ripped out the blue tiled flooring and i know some of you probably like how vintage this tile looked but to be honest it was really chipped up there were spots where the tile was missing it was kind of dangerous because there were some sharp edges and so we decided we're just gonna rip this out in addition to ripping out the blue toilet again if you're very into vintage style you're gonna hate this video because we took away some of that vintage charm but we were more practical and the toilet didn't really work properly and the tile had a lot of broken pieces and it just was not gonna work for what we needed this floor actually took some hard manual labor to get all these individual tiles ripped out I don't know if you've ever ripped out a tile flooring but with like these little mosaic tiles, but it was like individually chipping at each piece. And our oldest boy that we had at the time was 10. And so he kind of enjoyed like, you know, having a project to work on. So he helped us out a bit with that. It took some time and some manual labor, but we like getting our hands dirty over here and doing some of the projects ourselves. Yeah, we ripped out this floor, we ripped out the toilet and the vanity that we had before, it was really just a sink. And so we took that out as well. Our phase one renovation of this bathroom was to put in new tile and put in a new toilet. I did end up sourcing a vanity off of Wayfair. One of the things that we did to save money in this room was we kept the original towel racks and toilet paper racks. They were initially chrome, but I used just some sandpaper to rough them up. And then I just gave them a matte black spray paint and they looked brand new. So if you have some like old outdated fixtures in your bathrooms, like the chrome racks, and you just want to change them, but you don't want to worry about like your hardware not lining up and having holes in the walls. We just use the same exact racks, sprayed them with matte black Rust-Oleum spray paint and they looked good as new. That's something that you can do for a little inexpensive trick. If we had more time to reconfigure the space, I probably would move the plumbing to be against like the long wall instead of having it very much on the short wall. But for now, this works and this vanity fit the space perfectly. And so we're just working with what we had. And then we put in a new mirror and a new overhead light and we painted the room white. And of course, you guys know I love a good white wall. The white just, it was better than what was in there before because the walls were really dirty and gross, but this space needed some love and it stayed very stark for a long time, but it was better than what we started with and this bathroom just kind of got left behind as we did all of our other projects. As we're like getting into our kitchen renovation and doing some other things around the house, this bathroom, because we use it all the time, it was really just starting to bother me and I was thinking, 
I think there are some simple things that we could do in this space to really help elevate it. Um, I was ready to add some color. I wanted like an accent pop in here and we decided why not just go for it and try to do like phase two, a cheaper renovation using some of the things that we already had, but really just making it look like more intentional of a space than just something that we painted white and really had no design behind it. For the color, I wanted to go with something that was warm and somewhat earthy tone, something that still made like a statement. We have a lot of white in our house and I was just ready for something different. And so what do you do when you're like looking for inspiration, but to scroll Pinterest and Instagram. And I came across this picture and I don't know something about it. I just really liked um, the color is modern mocha from bear. And it was like an earthy clay color that had some of those like brown warm tones, but a little bit of mauve and just really, really pretty. And to be honest, I didn't even sample it on my wall. I just went to the store and I picked it up and you know, sometimes I spend way too much time like going back and forth on samples and I was just ready to get something on the wall and I'm really, really happy with the way this color turned out. And I just think that it was the pop that this room needed. It's so in love with this color. And this was one of our first times using the Bear Marquee line for interior paint. And we were actually really, really impressed. We've been using Sherwin-Williams for everything and we've had good luck, but this was one coat coverage. And you know, a lot of companies say that. And maybe it's because we already had a white wallet. So it was kind of essentially already primed, but we had really great luck with this paint. So if you haven't tried it, I would definitely say give it a shot. I decided I wanted to put in an accent wall somewhere. I had gone back and forth on should I wallpaper it? Should I like paint just an accent wall? And then I was watching some different YouTube videos and I saw that people were using what was known as pole wrap. This is designed for like basement poles to wrap them and make them look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But I saw people start using this for different projects. Most recently like Drew from Lone Fox. If you don't follow him, he's like DIY mastermind, super creative. And he made a beautiful bookcase using this pole wrap and I just loved it. And I knew that I wanted to try to use pole wrap on a wall. So we purchased some pole wrap from Home Depot and I decided because this bathroom is so long, when you look in, I know technically you don't want to make like your toilet your center point, but this bathroom was just so awkward that I knew that I wanted to look in and see this accent. So we decided to put it on the wall closest to the toilet and we actually had a contractor working for us that day. He put it up, I believe using some liquid nails, but once this was up, I was so excited because I, for a minimal effort, I loved the way that this added some warmth and some texture to this space. Pull wrap isn't super cheap. I would love to use this pull wrap for like whole accent walls like this wall behind me, for example, but it does get rather pricey. So if you have like a small wall like we had in this space or something that maybe you do a half wall and could like cut down one sheet into two and be able to use it that way, it would justify the price a little bit more. But yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it is absolutely beautiful and I am so glad we decided to go with this over other options. The pull wrap was installed. The other thing that we did in this bathroom was we installed a new light which is just like the globe style that we have throughout the house and I think that that really made a big difference. Up until this point we just had like a random light bulb hanging for like a year so if you have a random light bulb hanging in your house without a fixture you're not alone. I also wanted to share that I had an existing sconce hanging and I really hated the finish. It had a very strange yellow undertone that I did not like. I used some rub and buff to update this sconce. You will want to tape off areas that might get some rub and buff on it because if it gets on any other surfaces, it's likely to stain them. So just be mindful of that before you get started. So I started by cleaning off the fixture, putting on some gloves and literally just rubbing some rub and buff over this. By the time it was done, the finish matched our new light fixture way better and I was super happy with this. So if you have an old outdated fixture and you want an easy way to update it, I would definitely recommend trying some rub and buff.
and then it was time to style the space because this is like such a long awkward bathroom I knew I wanted a rug that kind of tied everything together and I ended up finding this one online I believe it was like rugs.com and I will say that I do like it I don't know if it's exactly the feel that I was going for but for now I got it on sale I think it was like $40 so it wasn't anything terrible and we are just working with it. A lot of the runners that they sell are a little bit too wide for this space because they either hit like that vent on the side or they hit that other wall that comes in like by the toilet. And so I needed something that was rather long and rather narrow. And this rug was perfect dimensions and it really does tie into the color on the wall. We added some pretty neutral accents. this budget-friendly phase two of this bathroom. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That just helps with my channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. That just keeps you motivated. And again, that really helps with my channel. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.